What's up everybody? It's Dr. Scott with the Two Minute Fix. Okay, over on the blog I had a question uh, from someone about improving their front rack position due to a lack of wrist mobility. So that's what I'm going to cover today. So most folks with this problem uh, being able to, unable to get their hand to their shoulder with the bar resting on there, know enough to try to use uh, and improve some wrist extension. Um, so that, that could be something like as simple as just leaning on a table or doing some banded extension uh, up against a wall, something like that. Uh, but what I want to show you is how to use a ball to treat this little muscle called pronator quadratus. All right, I'm going to come in a little bit closer and uh, talk about this a little bit more. So the muscle we're talking about is pronator quadratus. It rests right in there, underneath the end of the ulna, right in there where my fingers are. So if you slide your fingers off the bone, it sits right in there. So the action of this muscle is pronation and a little bit of ulnar deviation. So if it flexes, it tilts the wrist like this. So in order to undo this and mobilize it, we're going to do supination and radial deviation. So the opposite way. Uh, so this is how we do that. You need a ball and something uh, soft to roll that ball on. So what I'm going to do is take my ball. You can use a tennis ball, a golf ball. Actually, the smaller is actually going to be a little bit easier. Uh, softer is going to be a little bit more comfortable. I'm going to press that ball right in that crook, just meet, uh, just underneath that ulna. And what we're going to do is bring the wrist back and tilt it into radial deviation. So here into extension and here into radial deviation. So again, extension, a little bit of um, supination, and a little bit of radial deviation. So right there, and you're gonna roll that back and forth. Okay, up close and personal this time, I'm gonna show you how to do this on the wall with your thumb uh, to get a little bit more of that uh, supination. So what we're going to do, again, supinate, we're going to find just inside of the, basically the space between the end of the ulna and this little FCU tendon here, this flexor carpi ulnaris tendon. And you're going to put your thumb in there, and then you're going to lean against the wall, get a little bit of that supination. So from pronation to supination, and again, trying to emphasize a little bit of that deviation of the wrist to really stretch that muscle. So use a combination of that ball technique and the wall technique and uh, we should be able to improve that front rack position by improving not just extension but also a little bit of that uh, ulnar deviation and supination. It's been Dr. Scott with the 2 Minute Fix. Hashtag is your doctor even lift. We'll see you next time.